The BBK bolt-on subframe connectors with seat supports are available for all 79 and 93 Fox body owners looking to reinforce their chassis to reduce flexing and twisting to improve handling and launches. Now this is for the guys not looking to go with some of the weld-on options but rather an easier installation with the bolt-on performance while it also comes with additional seat supports. Now because of that the installation is going to get two out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter which basically only requires a little bit of drilling. Not too bad in my personal opinion but we'll talk about that later on. Now if you're a Fox body owner and you're wondering whether or not you need subframe connectors, the answer in short is ultimately yes. These unibody Mustangs did fall prey a lot of times over the years to chassis flex and twist, and that was especially evident to the guys with higher horsepower cars doing a lot of drag launches, spending time at the track with sticky tires especially because you can get that chassis flex. You can see evidence of this by your stress cracks by the seat mounting bolts or the A-pillars, or even when you shut your door if it doesn't line up properly like it once did. These will connect your front and rear subframes of your car, which not only strengthen the whole thing, but more importantly reduces the risk of the chassis flex. They're manufactured out of a tubular or box steel with a powder coated metallic gray finish on top. It does also look cool under the car, but it's more importantly going to help with corrosion and rust resistance. Now the materials and construction across the category are for the most part the same, so the biggest differences come into play with whether or not it's a weld on option versus a bolt on for ease of use or the length of the subframe connectors altogether. These are a full length option, but if you're running an all out drag car, you might want to invest in some of the even longer ones like Maximum Motorsport or Steeda to really benefit you in your field. These are going to be slightly more expensive than the entry level weld ons, running around 150 bucks, which in my personal opinion is still a very great price. Some of the other ones that are a little bit more expensive will be the longer options out there, but you want to keep in mind this does have the ease of use and it even includes additional seat supports, so it does give you a lot more value here. The installation is not too bad overall from start to finish. I think you can get it done in about an hour or two at the absolute maximum in the garage or driveway at home. You want to have a drill and 3 8 drill bit on deck because there is a little bit of drilling involved, as well as a ratchet and socket set, a torque wrench, a jack and jack stands, or a lift and a pole jack if you have access to one. Kick things off by getting the Mustang in the air and support it on jack stands. You want to make sure you're jacking up the rear axle and the front control arms just to make sure you're preloading the chassis properly. Place the subframe connectors over the front and rear subframes, making sure they're flat and contoured with the floor pan, as well as making sure the slants are facing the front. You do have the option to tack weld this into place, but a lot of guys try to avoid that since it is a bolt-on option. Now I would recommend sticking a bolt through one of these holes and securing it with a nut on the other side just to hold it into place while you do some drilling. Break out the drill and 3 8 drill bit to go through the subframe connectors and the subframe. Once that's taken care of, you can secure it into place with all the hardware and torque it down to 25 to 35 foot pounds. Now the seat supports will just go through the pre-existing seat studs, but it might need a half inch washer in case there's any gaps, so you can torque those down to those pre-existing holes on the bracket. And that just about does it for the overview and install, so if you're the owner of a 79 to 93 Fox body Mustang, you might want to check out the BBK bolt-on subframe connectors with seat supports. You can find them right here at AmericanMuscle.com.